Welcome back to Andy Lawn. Good your week. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? No. What is that what? I don't know. 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 She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? No, bro. Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean, you're not gonna bang her. Maybe Mike will take up the case. Wait, will you back off or Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. No. Now, you come in for the kill. Nah, bro. I don't know, man. How can you not know? What if it's like weird? What if she, she might like want to be friends with me anymore if I try something like that? I mean, weren't you just listening? You gotta buck up, bro. Grow up here. But you suck. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? Why well, are you bombing? You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Cochise, or else you got. Four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh shoot, nobody likes cool buns. Yeah. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Whoa. Did I do that? Yeah. I, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. Well, what, what is it? Okay, so, I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's a, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the Lori dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? No. Nope, but I'll do it. God speed, Pilgrim.
Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it. I know, but it was the bottom. Buns off out here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> ah, crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It's like a bear or tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. <laughs> home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire to go. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? Not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. 
What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Hey. Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. You wanna fight? What the hell were you doing with M out on the trail? What? I saw you and M. With the telescope. Before? We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. Um, right. Right, I'm sure it's all it was. You know what? You can think whatever you want. It's a free country. Watch yourself, Mike. Oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face hole? Yeah. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No, no one wants one in on your territory, territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make a cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dreamboat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Hey, you're making everyone uncomfortable, Jess. Jealous much? Emily too frigid for you too. Hey, that's that's uncalled. Look, whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. Honor roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. you couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Emily, stop. This is out of hand. And there's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em. Why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for ten minutes, then maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. yeah. All right. You want to go do that? Any place without that war. Hey, it's right up the trail. <sighs> well, that's over. Yeah. Yeah. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Why Matt, don't are, are you, you listening? Give it. Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter. Uh, well, I mean, well. She was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, Do I, you? I guess not. Em, hey, really shock. Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. Then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. <sighs> Exiled. Exiled. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, bar. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. Gonna need these. Porn star? I pay to see you. Uh, gross. 
Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourself. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. You gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. Oh my god. <laughs> this is perfect. We're like the cutest couple. Damn. You should be a model. You keep that camera handy, and maybe I'll let you start my portfolio at the cabin. Wink. No. At the cabin. <sighs> Burr, it is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. Wait, bring her. Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. I think you bring out the worst in her. Is that so? Epic jealousy. Suck it. Huh. Guess this thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? I wish you could generate a little excitement about getting that freaking generator to work. Okay, I'll, I'll just yell at it like you're yelling at me. Let's see if that works. Wait. Bowen. Hang on. All right. Let's see. Boom. Nice one, Mikey. Sam, the gates shall open. Yeah, boy. 
Open Sizzle Man. Yeah, totally. That was just awesome. Oh, yeah. I bring the hits. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. You psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right Cause now. Because I'm not. It's like a little adventure. Sexcapade. Wow. Police tape. Ah. Man on bed. I think they clean it up. Well, they never close the investigation. Okay, getting the creeps now. It's all such a blur. I can barely even remember what happened. Well, what I remember is that we played a stupid half-baked prank that probably got Hannah and Beth killed. Hey, I mean, it's not our fault they ran into the wood. Yeah. How could anyone have expected them to do a dumb thing like that? Yeah, bro. It's not that fun. But we played the blank on her. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, aka Wax Museum, to drink hot ah! ah! Jess! Oh my god. Fuck! Hey, Jessica! Yeah? Hey! I'm okay! Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you get out? I... Seven. I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. Come here, far. Alright, coming after you. Just stay put. Hey, handsome. Wanna help me move this cart thing? Grunting together. This is not what I pictured. Kind of willies. Yeah, for you a little 
comfort and reassurance. <laughs> we'll save it for the cabin, Buster. Cabin. Where are we going? To the cabin. Where is the cabin? The cabin is this way. Well, well. When Josh said cabin, I felt like a Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? Uh, wanna take a ride on Air Force One? <laughs> all right, all right. Save for this dumb speech, but Ooh, a telescope! Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the clouds, gonna look at the cab... Um... Whoa. You all right? I just saw someone at the cabin. Again, babe? It's just us up here. Uh, maybe.
answering is meaningful. Wow, you're easy. Yeah, you've got a lot of love for you. <laughs> scared. Josh, can you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. <laughs> oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike, you've got something on your face. Ah! Boo! Okay. Okay. That's how it's gonna be! Yes? <coughs> yes! Uh-huh. Huh? Sammy! What? You wanna help me get this fire going? Uh, well, I was just getting into the bath. Oh. Oh, do you need any help with that? Hardy are. Come on. All right, Josh, let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge.
sure that somewhere in this crazy place we used to have a spirit board. A what? Wow, you have a spirit board? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're fun, right? Wait, are you saying we should have a seance? Those things are a joke, man. We don't do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and... Well... Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um... Okay. I guess so. Brad. You're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together. Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> Sorry to drag you down into the bow. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. Playing baseball out in all that snow. No, it wasn't in the winter, silly. I mean, we'd come up in the summer and we would have the best time. The whole family was there. Mom, Dad, my sisters. It was some serious competition out there on the big lawn. I don't know. Can't go back. New reality. Right, Sam? I'm supposed to be fixing this whole guy, right? Hey, Molly. Here, can you, can you hold this? What's that? What was what? Just shine it here so I can see what I'm doing. the light so I can see, okay? Nice one. 
Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mm, sounds kinda complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. Um... Okay, did you at least find the thingy? 
Oi, 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 oi. Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Alright? Okay, that was... Um, oh, watch out for that, Josh. Okay, that was... No. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to understand your feelings toward people with fear, isolation, loneliness. Do you share this fear? No. How do you feel about people who are afraid? They wait. Huh? Indeed, that is apparent from the choices you ah. make. Ah! See you until dawn! A bad ball. Investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. Because you weak. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Nah, bruh. Which would you say was most important in a person? Loyalty or honesty? Honesty. So, you would tell the truth. Even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome. Yeah. And what about honesty then? And charity? Charity. Such a giving and caring person. Very nice. Oh, well, again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. And the dawn. It was just a prank, Han. Yeah, Han. Today is the Han. one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy of Han and Han. Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're we're all still here together. Yeah. Thinking of them. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Boom. I need that. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me with your sluttiness? Stop it! Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, alright. Did you hear that? What in God's name are you wearing? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. Watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Well, that's how it's gonna be! Yes? Yes! So, it says here, to communicate with the spirit world, you must free your mind of all preconceptions, yeah. drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entirely to the will of others, sublimating your every desire to the whims of the spirit master, which is me. It doesn't say that. And all present will remove their garments at my sole discretion. Chris, come on, this is serious. <laughs> So, I will see you guys on the next Until Dawn.